Well, welcome back to Los Tyrannis, everyone. It's been a long time since we've been here. Almost two years. Almost two years. And you guys have been asking us, when are we coming back? We're so excited to finally be here. So for the first part of our stay, we're actually over in Playa Bonita. We visited this area before, but we've never actually stayed in the area before. So we're excited to get the feel for it and like stay a little bit longer rather than just a few hours at a time. And we're staying at this beautiful residence. I can't wait to show you inside. This place is unbelievable. Check out the grounds. Right away, you're gonna see this gorgeous looking pool. Here's the thing, the weather's not even that great today and it still looks amazing here. It still looks, it feels, it's nice and warm, so we're not complaining. Just in case it's your first time to the channel, my name is Trevor and this is Anna. We're the Delightful Travelers. Welcome aboard. We actually live in Cabarete, so not too far from here, but we're big fans of Los Tyrannos. If you guys followed along uh, the last time we were here, you know we gushed over this place. Los Tyrannos is very special and we hope in the upcoming videos you're going to see why. Again, we're just so happy to be back. This is one of the most beautiful places in all of the Dominican Republic. Hey, Hello. we got a visitor already. It was funny, we <laughs> ate at the, uh, there's actually a restaurant that we'll show you later last night and there was this one cat, maybe it was this cat that kept running around and Trevor kept missing it. So I think he thought I was insane when I said there's cats here. We're absolutely huge fans of the grounds here. Take a look at how green everything is. And of course, when you match it up against the beautiful pool and the beautiful white buildings, yeah, it's safe to say we're big fans. Yeah, can I move in officially, <laughs> like live here? This is one of those places you walk into and you're just like in love with it. It's really, really comfortable. It's bright, it's gorgeous. Uh, it is called Playa Bonita Residences and this complex here is Los Cocos. Yeah, and uh, not to leave out this area back here, but this is right off the pool. So you have this little kind of like, there's a bar, little dining area. Do you, do you feel a little bit like you're on a resort? It totally feels like a resort <laughs> and I think you're gonna agree with us as we start to explore more, because this is a huge complex and they're continuing to develop it. I think there's like different stages happening, but down by the beach, yes, we're near the beach, there's like some really cool stuff. Welcome inside of this penthouse. Yes, I said penthouse. This has some amazing features. Can't wait to show you around. We're gonna start with the kitchen, which has everything that you need, including like this great big stove. You could literally cook anything here. And also, you may have remembered in a couple videos, we've done a few tours of some condos we've been staying at. And I keep saying, I wish the place had an island. Well, this place does. There's some good prep space here for sure. It's got a washer and dryer in here, so that's very convenient. Full fridge, it's got everything you need. Once we start to walk from the kitchen, you enter into the main living space, and I absolutely love the colors in here. Just take a look behind me. You have this massive TV to my left, and over this side, you have what Anna says is the most comfortable couch that she's been yeah, <laughs> sitting on in a while. Yeah, I was up there last night when we got here, watched some Netflix, and like, it's, it's super wide and comfy. I think it actually turns into a sofa bed, but can we buy that at home? <laughs> we have this big table here that of course we have turned into an editing slash workstation, but also works as a dining room table. And this is maybe the best part, is where all this amazing light is coming from. You have these huge windows that are also doors, so you can slide them open, look out at the pool. It's really, really nice and get some fresh air. Let's talk about internet for a second. We're just doing a speed test and we're getting almost 100 down and 42 up. You guys might remember from the last time we were here, one of our biggest complaints was that we had a really hard time finding good internet in Los Tyrannos. No idea why, because it obviously does exist. This is definitely the best internet we've had anywhere. I think we've probably stayed at like five, six, seven places so far, and maybe two had good internet, so this is definitely a perk. All right, onward we go with the tour here. There's actually three bedrooms in this place, so I'm gonna show you the first two that are on this level. This is one of them. You can see the nice colors. There's actually two different uh, beds, so if you have kids, yeah, this room is going to do the trick. There's actually AC in every single room, if you happen to be wondering. Here's one of the uh, one of the bathrooms. I'll try to squeeze you guys in. It is quite big, it's hard to do with the camera. But you can see it's got everything in the vanity, toilet, walk-in shower. If I go this way, we go into another room. Right now, this is where we're set up. Uh, so yeah, this room also has some of those same colors. Queen size bed and lots of light coming in here. That's one of our favorite perks. And just off this room is another bathroom. So I'll walk you guys in here. You have the vanity and of course you have a toilet and another walk-in shower. So lots and lots of space. All right, let's take you guys uh, upstairs. That's right. 
There's an upstairs, or do we just call it a penthouse? It is like the penthouse of the penthouse. Well, this room is beautiful. Maybe we should have taken this one, but it'd be perfect if you had a couple, a couple of couples coming and you each get kind of a main room. Uh, you do have another TV up here. You also have a mini fridge. They put a mini fridge up here. <laughs> you know, it's a long walk downstairs. So that's very, very convenient. And then you have a queen size bed over here where you can just lounge and enjoy the view, which we'll show you shortly. And then of course there is another bathroom. Yeah, I love that there's bathrooms in every single room and all of them have, they do, all of them have showers. Yeah. All right, so here's uh, one of the biggest perks of this room and the whole condo is you have this outdoor space and it is massive. Take a look at how big this patio is. This is a giant living space. It's like a whole other room. You have a gorgeous couch back there, another table. I can't get over this. There's another <laughs> table. There's actually a barbecue up here, so you can have a, like a full dinner up here. And there's a sink over on the other side, so you could potentially like cook up here. That's so cool. And of course, you see the pool from up here. It's got these gorgeous patio lights. I love it. If you know anything about Los Tyrannis, it is known for not just its beautiful, absolutely beautiful beaches and scenery, it's actually known for some amazing accommodations just like this, and that's why we wanted to show you this place today. Yeah, and literally, the, probably the number one thing people contact us about is to get recommendations for places to stay. So we've showed lots in previous videos. This one, of course, we are putting a link in the description below if you want to book this uh, yourself. Just right below in the description, <laughs> yeah, you'll if, find it. If you guys do want to book, we'll put the link down there. But mm -hmm. this isn't it. This place that we're in right now, there's more to the whole complex, and you're about to see that now. Just wait for it. Before we get any further in the video, we just wanted to welcome back Gentle Bands as a sponsor. Now, I've been wearing this ring for well over a year. I absolutely love how it looks, and it is so comfortable. They make well-designed rings, and I find them really, really interesting. They're also made from the most unique and unconventional materials. They use everything from meteorites to dinosaur fossils to antlers. Gentle Bands has completely reimagined rings for men. They are handcrafted with impeccable craftsmanship and made with sustainable materials. Recently, Gentle Bands sent me this ring. It's called the Integrity, and get this. It is made from whiskey barrel and titanium. Yeah, I'm a big fan. Another thing I really like about this ring, when you compare it to this ring, is they're both different from each other, but they're still unique and amazing. Gentle Bands has thought of everything, and now they're offering chains to match the rings. So if you're someone that works with your hands or just don't prefer to wear a ring, you can still have this great option to wear your ring around your neck. The first thing you're going to notice when your ring arrives is this amazing, well-designed packaging. They also offer free engraving. We love that not only are the rings fun and playful, but also really well-crafted. If you're like us and like things that are unique and well-made, we'd highly recommend Gentle Bands. You should definitely consider a new ring if you have something special coming up like a wedding, anniversary, or a birthday, and just so you know, Valentine's Day is very soon. Best of all, Gentle Bands is giving you guys a 25% discount when you use the code DELIGHTFUL25. You'll find that link and the code in the description below. Also, I just wanted to say a huge thanks to Gentle Bands for sponsoring this video and supporting creatives like us. Now, back to the vlog. Well, we talked about uh, this place feeling a little like a resort, and this is part of the reason why, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's actually a restaurant. As you walk towards the beach, we're almost at the beach. There's a full restaurant, there's a pool, they have everything here. Yeah, we're gonna take you guys in and show you now, but this specifically looks like a lobby or reception area. Totally does. <laughs> so yeah, they really tried to make this like resort living or vacation living. The lobby is gorgeous, outside there is a bar, and right now I'm at the main pool and we found out yesterday that this is like the shared pool area. Just look at the size of this thing. Yeah, so if you didn't like the other pool or you want to come down here, you have options. You have pool <laughs> options. You can come to the restaurant. You can actually order delivery as well from the restaurant if you wanted to stay at your own unit. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest perk. The unit we're staying in, like all of this comes included. Not the food costs money in the restaurant itself, but you can come down and use these chairs, use this amazing pool behind us. In this way is the absolutely gorgeous Playa Bonita Beach, and you have access to that right from this complex. We mentioned the weather earlier in the video. Uh, it's not the best day to kind of show this place off. It's a little gray. We promise when it's a beautiful day, it's even more bonita. We're on Playa Bonita after I all. know, it is bonita here. <laughs> it's not a lie. Does this not look like we're Standing in a golf course? We're not, I promise. We don't have any irons in her hand. She doesn't have a putter. We're actually walking down to the beach here and uh, just kind of show you guys what it's like. So believe it or not, these beach chairs are actually part of the complex as well. So 
you have a choice of pools or you can come down to the beach and lounge here. Also see some like kayaks, surfboards back there as well. Yeah, they must be for rental. Now one of the things, there's no one out there today, but surfing's a pretty big deal here yeah, in Playa Bonita. So Playa Bonita is actually one of our favorite beaches in Las Veranas, which says a lot because the beaches here are amazing, some of the best in the country. But the thing about this beach is that this end is very, very wavy and therefore there's lots of surfing. But when you get down to Punta Bonita, which is about a 10 minute walk in the other direction, it gets really, really calm. So you kind of have a choice. Yeah, I actually think today is a little bit uh, rough out there, a yeah. little bit too wishy-washy. That's why we're not seeing any surfers. Yeah. Well, this whole complex just feels absolutely uh, massive. You can see the buildings behind me here as I'm walking and we've been now walking for, well, at least a couple minutes and it's, and it's back here on the beach. I mean, the sand's still beautiful even in the it weather. Is. You can definitely go for a nice <laughs> walk on this beach today, even when it's not gorgeous out. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, once you start going this way, and I'll show you guys where we're walking, it's gorgeous up this side of Playa Bonita. The water really starts to get like calm and it's like more of a lagoon. Now, if you want to see what this place looks like when it's like turquoise and blue sky, make sure to go to that video. I'll link to it maybe so you can see it because it's absolutely stunning. So other than it being a little calmer down here, you actually get to see this. There's like a river running into the ocean. Now when it's sunny out, I know we keep talking about that, the river color would be a different color than the turquoise water here. Right now it kind of looks like it meshes together. There's also someone out there swimming. I just noticed that now. Someone's out there, some brave soul. It's a little calmer on the cove here, but yeah. This is the kind of thing, this is why you come to Los Tyrannus. If you ever wonder what it's like, well, this is it. As you start walking along Playa Bonita, you're gonna come across a lot of private properties, nice gorgeous villas, also quite a few restaurants. Yeah, like look at this restaurant behind you. No one's at it at the moment. No, it's so quiet today. <laughs> yeah, and if you guys are wondering, the beach is kind of right here. So there's this kind of like path, I guess a groomed path, which is one of the perks about Bonita. Really nice. Another uh, cool spot here, we got a little, uh, Tiki bar right on the beach. That's pretty cool. I know. This has a very interesting vibe to it. A lot different than the main town. Playa Bonita is kind of like the chic beachy vibe thing going on. It is. I mean, look, for starters, you got surfboards here just stating the surf school. Big old swing. And if I zoom in this way, you're going to see kind of like a little school bus kind of food area. Ah, you guys, it's official. I just missed this place so much. We've been talking about Las Tyrannis now uh, for a while. Absolutely missed it. This would be a good spot to get a massage though. They're getting massages on the beach. I, I know. This is a perfect day too for a massage. Sometimes it's going to sound really, really spoiled, but you're like on the beach enjoying the day and it's like maybe I don't want to take the time <laughs> away from my beach time to get a massage, but today. I see. So you're saying if it was sunny out, maybe they wouldn't be, be there. Yeah, or I wouldn't be there. Well, I'll tell you what, we're doing it wrong either way. We're the ones walking around and filming and working today. <laughs> We should be right there. There was two tables. I don't know if you noticed. I did. I did. All right, it's time to get something to eat. And we have come over to a very cute place called Beluga. One thing you need to know about Los Duranis is that you are not going to go hungry. There are so many amazing restaurants here. We're actually really excited to be back to try some of our old favorites and find some new places as well. We've actually never eaten here before. And of course, over here in Playa Bonita, it's no different. There are loads of restaurants to choose from, so you don't need to worry about staying over in this area and not being able to find some place to eat. There's lots of places here along the beach. What uh, What do you got to drink over there? I got myself a frozen lemonade. Yeah, that looks pretty mm -hmm. good. Get a report? <laughs> nice and tart, but it's nice and cold. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, I also went for one of these uh, lemonades, but it's not the frozen version. I guess it's just the stir version. The regular version. So the food has arrived. I think maybe our eyes are a little bit bigger than our stomachs, but we will see. We only went for appetizers, so we thought it wouldn't be that big. But anyway, we will see how we do. It all looks really good. So we went for some chicken croquettes. Over here we have some cheese and vegetable empanadas. And then over here, it said chicken taquitos, but they look more like chicken, or no, sorry, beef, not chicken, tacos. I just cut open this empanada and it looks a little bit different than I expected it to. It's almost like a fresh cheese on the inside, like a feta or something similar. I'm gonna try it without the sauce first. Mm, it's a little bit like crunchy on the outside and soft on the middle, just the way an empanada should be. The cheese is really good. It's nice and simple. The whole thing, I'd say, is relatively simple, and I do want to try it, actually, with the sauce just to see what that's like. Yeah, it's all about that sauce. It really adds another dimension to it. It's almost like a tartar sauce, nice and tangy. All right, let's cut into one of these um, croquettes. This is a pollo 
croquette. Maybe you can see the uh, inside there. I love the texture of croquettes. It's one of my favorite things to eat down here in the DR. Now, for this one, I'm going to try it in this sauce down here. Uh, this is like a kind of a red, well, I guess almost like an orange sauce. I just smothered it. Oh my god, listen to the rain coming in behind me. We, we so made it in here just in time. Yeah, this is right up my alley. Croquettes are amazing and so much fun to eat. There's like a crispy uh, coating, like a crispy, I don't want to call it a skin, but like a batter on there. Of course, the chicken itself in the croquette is so delicious. And then this kind of mayo-y ketchup, I think is the best uh, words I can come up with. There's nothing super special about it, but because it's kind of like basic ingredients, it just works. Okay, last but not least, let's try this taco. Look at the cheese on the top. It's like melted into it, almost like they put it over a fire or something and it kind of singe the top of it, which makes it really, really enticing. Yeah, fresh ingredients, nice soft shell. The meat is really good, and I love the cheese on the top. I had a little crunch from the veggies. The only thing I would add to this is maybe a little hot sauce. Well, into town we go. We just hopped in the car, and right now we're driving through the streets of the main part of Los Tyrannis. Uh, it gets a little loud around here at times, doesn't it? It does, and there can be a lot of traffic. It wasn't too bad today. But one thing to know about the layout of the land here is that really to get into town, there's one road in and one road out. So it can get pretty congested. You yeah. need to be a little bit brave in order to drive. Especially during high season. You know, it's not high season yet, but it can get pretty crazy. If I'm being honest, completely honest, and you're watching this video and you're trying to find like any flaws in Los Serranos, it's the traffic. The traffic, most people that live here would agree, the traffic can be a huge, huge challenge. But one thing to know, if you're gonna be driving in the Dominican Republic at all, it's definitely not for the faint of heart. You need to be brave, you need to be aggressive, you need to basically have your head twirling around at all times, basically, and looking both ways. The moto conchos like, tend to go around you, you need to be looking out for them, and other cars that might be passing you or driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> you just need to be very aware while you're driving. But one thing we do like about driving here in Las Tyrannas is the option. So you can go by a uh, four, four, -wheeler, four wheeler and like the, uh, what are those things called? The buggies, I guess. Uh, buggies, I guess, yeah, yeah. Or like an AT or UTV. UTV, yeah, they're really fun. <laughs> and also people drive around in golf carts. So I love that there's yeah, different there's options. Actually, you're just allowed to do it. Actually, there's a golf cart coming. Now what's funny about this is also scooters too, so you can see what's happening. But it just downpoured. So right now the road's kind of quiet, but people are coming back out on the bikes. Yeah. <laughs> We're catching rainbows now. That's the kind of day it's been in Las Tyrannas. This weather, it still doesn't make any sense to us. It's pouring rain, then the sun comes out. Uh, it's been a weird week. For all of you guys that were here during kind of like mid to late December, you probably know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it's been a little wishy-washy. It's hard, hard to do anything because you think, oh, it's nice out, and then you run outside and then it starts pouring on you. So yeah. it's so hard to plan anything. Back, and, and we like to show off the beaches too. Back to what to expect though. The thing is, this isn't normal. Usually, like, last time we were here about two years ago, we got one week like this, yeah. where it's mostly gray. Usually, the weather does that typical Caribbean thing where it might rain for 15 minutes and then the sun's out. That includes here. That's what Las Tyrannas is usually like. Yeah, but by the time you guys are watching this, hopefully, I mean, it's going to be high season by the time this comes out. Yeah. And hopefully, that means the weather is going to be gorgeous. <laughs> Tell us when you're watching if the weather is good that day. Well, the plan was to go to a happy hour, one of these places on the beach. How cool are these? Is it like our feet are in the sand? There's not a ton of them. It's not quite like Cabarete where we live, but uh, we still love it. But the thing is, <laughs> we tried to get like a, a Presidente light. That's our beer of choice when we're here. It's a Dominican beer and they didn't have any. So we went yeah. back to the good old, we call them Dominican Coronas, even, <laughs> even though they're not Dominican at all. But happy hour is definitely something we can touch on. What's like what to expect? Yeah, there's definitely not many happy hours here. At least not that we've discovered. There's a place called Etno that's right in town that has a good happy hour. Other than that, we haven't really found anything. There's, there's just a few. Uh, now, if anyone lives here or has been here, leave uh, some comments below because yeah. we can't we can't find the good places for happy hour. We're, yeah. we're spoiled by Cabarete where we live because every place on the beach has happy hour, like every single day. Yeah. <laughs> so everything here costs double if you're coming out for happy hour. If that's what you're into, maybe you don't drink alcohol at all and it's not something you're interested in, but I know a lot of you watching are gonna be very curious about that. So we haven't found a ton of them, but hey, it's just still awesome. The prices aren't too bad. I, I'm sure, I didn't look at the price for this, but I'm sure it's not gonna be probably about 300 pesos if I had to guess. Probably. So, you know, five, six bucks on the beach. Hey, I'll take it. The other thing we should talk about though is a big one, mosquitoes. Yeah, I know, everybody always asks us, how are the mosquitoes? So, 
So far we've been here a couple of days and I haven't had too many bites but this morning I made the mistake of saying I haven't had too many bites and I got a few. You got a few. <laughs> so um, I remember when we posted a video we compared like Los Taramis versus Cabrera. No, no gracias amigo. <laughs> so that'll happen sometimes too. Um, sometimes there are kids that come up and try to sell you things. But back Bracelets. to the mosquitoes. What's that? Bracelets. They're Bracelets. selling bracelets. Yeah, yeah. They look really nice. And yeah, as you can see, you just say no gracias. But back to the mosquitoes. Uh, when we made a video on Cabarete versus here, just to compare the differences, that little segment on mosquitoes was one of the most viewed of the whole entire video. So clearly you guys care about this. In general, there seems to be more mosquitoes in Los Tyrannos, at least to our part of the DR, but there's a lot here. I mean, it-, it In general, yeah. I've actually been surprised this time that there haven't been too many because it's been raining so much, but maybe it's like after it, it stops raining is when they'll come out. Yeah, they probably will. Now, if you're wondering what to use for like spray or something, I, I'll tell you the only thing that works for us is this kind of, this is not sponsored by Off in Deep Woods at all, but honestly, this is like our cologne or her perfume. We wear it daily. Yeah, and I know probably some people will leave some comments saying that DEET is really bad for you, sure. which it is, but so is Dengue. So the last thing you might be wondering about is, is it busy here? And for anyone that's been here before, you're, you're probably looking at this video going like, there's not many people around at all. And so far, we found that's the, the case in Cabarete. Now, everyone says high season starts around the middle of December. And it's past that now. Uh, I yeah, would so say technically high, we're into high season, but I don't think high season mid December is just like a blank. It's just a date. Uh, to me, it seems right around Christmas is when things get going. And I know some people says like mid April, that's when it's over. But I feel like it's like the end of March. But it's drastically different. Huh? Yeah. So last time we were here was like the very, very I guess end of the pandemic. A lot of people were coming to the Dominican Republic at the time because it was easy to get into, and people were starting to travel again. Uh, and we were here between like January and March, I think. So yeah. then we spent quite a, quite a bit of time here and it was really, really busy. Maybe it's going to be the same way this year. <laughs> we ran into a few, few of you guys on the beach that watch our channel. Uh, thank you for saying hi. And uh, to almost everyone, we just said like, this is the emptiest we've ever seen Los yeah. Tyrannus. It's, uh, it's pretty wild, but I know we'll get busier in high season. Like we said, the traffic is a little much and just expect more people. Also, if you're thinking about renting a place, don't leave it last minute. Things always book up. Yes, that's <laughs> always. so true, so true. Even now, it's like we're coming back, we expect more videos here in a few months, and it's already hard to find a place. So. Yeah, we're having a hard time. But uh, we hope you enjoyed the video today about kind of what to expect if you're gonna travel here. We try to think of everything that we think of when we're traveling. Uh, if there's, you have any additional questions, leave a comment below. For some reason, if you don't know who we are, it's Trevor and Anna, delightful travelers. Hit subscribe and all that stuff to follow along on the adventures if you're not new. Thanks for coming back again. <laughs> also, if you do have more questions, our plan is to do one more video while we're here in Las Tyrannas if the weather cooperates. We don't want to go film a video in pouring, boring rain, but if we can get out into weather like this, that'd be totally okay. We'll see. So we'll sit here uh, on our little well, non-happy hour spot, finish up a beer, hope it doesn't rain, and maybe see you in the next video back here in Las Tyrannas. Hopefully. All right, guys. That's it. <laughs> From Las Tyrannas, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.